Remember the days where you would sit at your Nintendo playing Mario for hours on end? Well, with the new Super Mario Bros movie releasing soon, I was left wondering, what if I build this in Minecraft? But there's a slight problem. I have nothing. So I punched a tree and beat the Ender Dragon. Then I grabbed an Elytra and built an Enderman farm. It's been eight hours. All right, now I need mending for all my gear, so... <laughs> nice. Now that I'm all set, where should I build this? You see, the reason I wanna build this in the end is because there is endless space. But this island is kind of in the way. So, like any normal person would do, I'm gonna build a TNT flying machine. So let's get to gathering the TNT duping flying machine materials. Alright, now let's just go ahead and speedrun this machine. Alright, nice. Now, when I set it off, it should go all the way down there and then come back and then just repeat that a lot of times. So let's... hold on. Activate it. Well, uh, it half worked. I should be able to fix it when it comes back though. Alright, now it seems to be working. So let's sit here and hopefully it shouldn't take too long for the island to be destroyed. It's been 16 hours. Better yet, the island isn't even completely destroyed. I've got to build the machine lower down so the TNT can reach this section. But these obsidian pillars are in the way so I can't build one of these machines. So let's mine them up. <laughs> Just kidding. Since there's around 40,000 obsidian in this area and it takes two and a half seconds to mine each obsidian block, it would take me 28 hours of sitting at my computer mining obsidian. So, I've downloaded a mod called Baritone which gets an AI to mine it for me. Alright, well, let's get to mining. There's five of the ten pillars I need to mine, so if you do the math, I'm halfway there. Oh, and no need to worry, I'm throwing out all the obsidian I get from this. Okay, well, let's get back to work. Well, technically, it's not me working, but... Okay, now with the power of editing, and there we go. Alright, before I finish blowing up this island, I've got to remove these floating bits of bedrock, so... Alright, now let's finish blowing up the end. Right, and after almost 70 hours, the end is now finally destroyed. Wait, I need to kill the dragon 19 more times to generate 20 of these end gateways. So yeah, I'm gonna need some end crystals. Like a lot of end crystals. Now, let's respawn the ender dragon. Wait, no, no! God damn it! I completely forgot that respawning the ender dragon regenerates these pillars. Well, I'll worry about these pillars after I kill the ender dragon 19 times. There's the first dragon down, the second, and the 19th ender dragon finally defeated. Now, I've got to do something about these pillars again, so... Well, look on the bright side, this is where the fun starts. Oh, that was a close one. I should probably get some totems. Well, if you haven't guessed already, it's raid time. And in total of that raid, I've managed to get five totems. Well, technically six, but um... Alright, now in place of the end, I'm gonna be recreating the Mushroom Kingdom from the new Super Mario Bros. movie. But since the movie's not out yet, I've only got the trailer to work with. So, here's three screenshots I'm gonna be using for this build. As you've probably guessed already, the first step to this massive project is to build up the island, which is gonna require some stone, like a lot of stone. This town ain't big enough for the two of us! Alright, now let's start building up the island. Wait, I still have nowhere near enough stone. I think I may have an idea. Alright, now if I sit at this stone generator for a while, I should have plenty of stone. Wait, why is this so slow? Oh, I need a beacon. God damn it. Hey, first try. No, 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 don't look down there. Oh, nice, there we go. Now that I've got the three wither heads, I just need four soul sand. All right, now let's summon the wither. Okay, that was surprisingly easy. All right, now let's craft the beacon. God damn it, I need 164 blocks for this beacon and this is not gonna cut it. So... All right, and after about an hour, I've got all the blocks I need. I've now just got to build the bacon. <laughs> what? Beacon. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, now I just need some andesite for the texture. 
Okay, this should be enough materials for the bottom half of this island. Disclaimer, it was nowhere near enough. So, let's get to building. Right, and after five shulker boxes of materials, this is all I've managed to get done. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more. Alright, and one day later, I've got hopefully all the stone, cobblestone, and andesite I'll need. So, let's continue building. Okay, now that the bottom half of the island is complete, it's time for, you guessed it, the top half. Which is gonna require four blocks. So, terracotta, green wool, and 17,200 moss. Alright, there we go, that actually didn't take too long. I probably shouldn't speak too soon though, because this might not work. Well, let's hope for the best. Uh, well, about that, how am I supposed to figure out where I messed up? Oh wait, no, I got it. God damn it! Maybe if I do this? Nope. Okay, take five. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Wait, this is producing all the other moss stuff, but not actual moss blocks. God damn. Well, let's build an actual moss block farm now. Right, now let's test it out. Please work. Yes, I think it's actually working. Yes, oh my god. If you can't tell in my voice, I'm very tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep and hopefully when I wake up, I'll have plenty of moss. All right, and after three days of collecting materials, it's time to continue building. All right, I'm now like 30% of the way done. Okay, now this area was looking kind of flat, so I decided to add some nice looking rocks to it. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Okay, on to stage two, which is recreating Princess Bubblegum's castle. But there's a slight issue, even after the last episode, I still don't know how to build. So... Hey, call me big man, what do you want? You said that last time. I need you to help me build again. Are you gonna pay me this time? Screen time? Alright, this is the castle that we, uh, Levi designed, but there's a slight issue. It requires a lot of materials. Materials which I don't have yet. So, boom, there's all the white terracotta. Now I just need 8,000 iron to make 2,000 iron trapdoors. Alright, there's the iron farm, now I just gotta get three villagers into each of these cages. And what do you know, this farm's conveniently placed next to a villager breeding center. Alright, there we go. Totally didn't take me almost an hour. Now I just gotta bring a zombie in each of these pits. There we go. Okay, and after quickly building up the nether side, the farm was complete. Alright, let's sit here overnight, and hopefully by the time I've awoken, I'll have plenty of iron. Okay, it's been... I wasn't counting. It's been a while, and I've got plenty of iron trapdoors. Alright, now the rest of the materials are pretty simple, except for one, which I'll worry about later. So, let's quickly gather them. Quickly for you, but a few hours for me. Boom, there's all the materials. Except for the unknown item, which is 3,000 mangrove planks. And as you know, mangrove logs are not easy to obtain. So, I can either spend three hours mining it manually, or I can spend eight hours building a farm for it. <laughs> do you think I'm insane? Because that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Now, you've seen me get many materials many times, so let's skip through two hours of work and get to building. Okay, this is the farm. Don't ask me how it works. Alright, let's test it out. Oh my god, yes! It's actually working! Oh, I'm out of saplings. So, I spent an additional four hours building a tropical farm. <laughs> I'm just kidding, this took me like two minutes. Alright, to activate this, I need a lot of bone meal. Alright, nice, there we go. Now we can AFK the tree farm for a while. Okay, I've got all the materials, so let's get straight to building. And with the final block, this castle is complete. Yeah, this is looking sick. Now, in the trailer, you can see there's a bunch of mushrooms scattered around, so I'm gonna recreate them. But to do that, I'm gonna need almost three shulker boxes of mushroom stems. <sighs> 
So, let's slap some silk touch on my axe, and I'll look for a mushroom fields biome. Oh, sick, there we go. Now, I should be able to... Yeah, they dropped it, nice. Now, I just gotta commit deforestation with mushrooms. Alright, after clearing two mushroom islands of stems and breaking my axe, I've got all the mushroom stems I need. Next on the list is 8,000 terracotta, which is split into red, orange, light blue, and white colors. So, I'm sorry, Badlands, but you gotta go. Alright, now I need red dye, white dye, and blue dye. Okay, there's all the terracotta gathered. Oh, and while I was doing that, Levi made this song for no apparent reason. Now, to finish off the materials, I just need more quartz. And I've now got all the quartz. Okay, these are some of the mushrooms that I designed. What? Now I just gotta copy paste them onto this entire island. If only it was that easy. Alright, as you can see, I've got about 40% left, so why don't we do a sick transition? That totally didn't take me three hours. Now, there isn't much room on this island, and there's still a few things I want to build, so I'm gonna make some floating islands around this place. But, as you've probably guessed already, it requires a lot of materials. <laughs> Okay, I've now got all the materials, so let's get to work on this island. Now, in the trailer, you can see Mario comes out of this green pipe, so I'm gonna try and replicate that. Oh, that's looking sick. I wonder where this leads. But it is missing something, so 3, 2, 1, boom! Yeah, this place is really coming together. But it's not done yet, because we got some more islands to build, so... Now, what will Yes Lucid build on this island? Is it A, Mario, B, a giant mushroom, C, a forest, or D, all of the above? What a phone of friends! Oh wait... I have no friends. Trick question, it's none of them. I'm gonna build these mushroom village houses that you see in this shot. So, without further ado... Damn, this is looking sick. But this water kinda looks weird, so I think I may have an idea. Oh yeah, now it's like they're falling into clouds, I like that. Now, at the back, you can see there's a lot of empty space, so why don't we fill it with, you guessed it, another island. Which will require, you know what I'm about to say, so... Boom, there we go. Alright, now let's get to building this island. Alright, with this island complete, we are still not done. I've got a bunch of clouds and floating rocks to build, which will really bring this place together. So, let's get to work on designing these. Oh. Alright, this is one of the rocks that I designed, all on my own, without anyone else's help. Okay, that was a lie. So let's go ahead and build a crap ton more of these. Oh yeah, these rocks really brought this place together. But there's still something missing. Yep, it's clouds. Which will require... Yep, a lot of glass. And as you should know by now, glass requires sand, so... Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Right, let's continue. Okay, now I've got to turn this sand into glass. Yeah, this furnace is way too slow. You know what they say, expect problems and eat them for breakfast. Okay, literally no one says that. That's besides the point. The point is, I'm gonna build an auto smelter to smelt all of this sand. So... Whew, yeah, this is this is really good. Alright, here's all the glass, now I've got to combine it with some white dye. Alright, now I've got all the glass I need, so it's time to build up these clouds. Alright, and wow, that looks incredible. Well, on that note, we're done.